So let's talk about the introduction to JavaScript. In this uh, lecture, we will discuss about the basics of uh, JavaScript, syntax of JavaScript, primitive types, complex types, and how we can declare variables and uh, some other things. So let's talk about basics of JavaScript. So JavaScript is actually uh, used as a client-side language, and uh, the basic or bare-bone JavaScript is actually called vanilla JavaScript. And uh, we have been working uh, with the different variety of JavaScript in the form of jQuery, React, D3, and uh, a lot of more JavaScript libraries and frameworks are available for the client-side uh, application development. So JavaScript is actually mainly used for the web applications, and almost every web application uses JavaScript. Either it's using vanilla JavaScript, jQuery, or any other library or the framework in the form of Angular or React or D3, uh, Vue.js, and so on. So before JavaScript was uh, very basic, initiated by the Netscape, and uh, it was not uh, very much standardized. Uh, it was a big trouble using the JavaScript, and it was um, based, uh, mainly disabled by the browsers by default. And uh, interpreters were not actually developed the way JavaScript was evolving. So uh, in the beginning, JavaScript was uh, owned by Sun Solaris, and now it is owned by the Oracle. And uh, that's uh, about the very basic history. So, uh, but JavaScript is actually the beauty of JavaScript is that uh, you can dynamically load the content and do the manipulation of your uh, HTML, uh, and uh, you can do a lot of things uh, on the front end, which is called the client side. And the uh, browser is actually the main host of your JavaScript uh, and interprets that. It's important that when a JavaScript version or new feature is released, it's important that the browser should also support that. So it's a big job for the testing engineers when they are testing the web applications, they need to test the JavaScript functionality on other browsers as well. We might have seen that some of the web applications directly state that uh, the best viewing uh, version for this website is uh, uh, Chrome that version and uh, Edge that version or uh, Firefox that specific version. So uh, that's why because uh, JavaScript is executed on the client side, it's not a server side. But now JavaScript is actually evolved in a way so that now it's also used on the server side in the form of Node.js and Express MongoDB. And even we can also do the desktop development with the help of uh, Node.js in the form of Electron.js. JavaScript is used over there as well. And we also see that uh, mobile applications are also developed with the help of JavaScript now. So JavaScript is actually a very easy to learn language. Its syntax is very flexible as compared to other modern uh, uh, advanced programming languages. Uh, its types are very simple and uh, easy to work with. Uh, its standardization is actually uh, ES6 is uh, mostly used and widely used right now, but they're also working on ES7 and uh, 8, 9, and 10. They are also in the pipeline, but uh, ES6 is the most stable and supported by most of the platforms either on the client side or um, application development and so on. It was actually introduced and standardized in 2015. And ES6 is actually also used that standard is also used by the React uh, JS and the React Native. If we talk about the JavaScript syntax, it's very similar to other programming languages. And uh, very much things are uh, similar. And it's more flexible. So JavaScript actually uses the var keyword to declare a variable. That's it. We don't need to have specific types when we are declaring the variable, just var. and uh, also, when we are declaring a variable, universal principle for identifiers is used, just like uh, a variable name cannot have a special character, cannot have spaces, it cannot start with a digit, and so on. Strings are text in uh, JavaScript, and uh, we can use with the double quotes or the single quotes. Both are supported in JavaScript. To output uh, anything on a console, we can use console.log, and with the help of console.log, we can output the uh, anything, any variable, the value of a variable, and a string, and so on. These are some examples, like these are the declaration of three variables over here. And uh, that is the assignment, just like in any other language. Uh, it's optional that we use semicolon or not in the end of a statement. If we are using multiple statements on a single line, definitely we need to separate them to a semicolon. So JavaScript actually uh, supports uh, the use of semicolon, or it's up to you. We can uh, compute the values, uh, just like any other arithmetic operation or the expression. Let's talk about the JS variables. We can create uh, uninitialized variables, or uh, by default, otherwise, the variable would be undefined. So if we declare a variable just like this, and uh, it's undefined, no initial value has been assigned to this variable. We can change the type of a variable. We can recreate the variables again. Uh, it's all up to us. If you see that if we perform uh, any operation with an undefined, the result is not a number. Uh, we can declare this x variable multiple times. That's not a problem. It will not give us any error that x is already declared. And JavaScript is actually interpreter-based language and scripting language, so it actually executes uh, line by line. So it will actually recreate this variable again. <coughs> and similarly, we can change the type of a variable. We can also recreate with a new type as well. 
So JavaScript is flexible in uh, in creation of the variables, uh, recreating and changing the type of the variable um, uh, of a program. Operators in JavaScript are very much similar to any other programming language. We have a double equal operator for the equality and not equal operator, greater than operator and less than, uh, greater than or equal, less than or equal, and we have a ternary operator as well for the conditions. In addition, JavaScript also have a triple equal uh, comparison operator and not double equal comparison operator as well. So let's see what's the difference between the double equal and the triple equal because that would be new for you if you are new to JavaScript. So uh, as we discussed that in a variable declaration, we can assign any type of uh, variable to uh, a JavaScript variable, any value, we can uh, assign that. So this 10 as a string and this 10 as a number, uh, they are actually equal if we compare with the double equal, although it's not equal in other programming languages because it's a string and it's a number. But in JavaScript, they are actually equal because uh, their data is equal. So single uh, or the double equal uh, operator which is actually used in other programming languages, uh, it returns as true because the content are equal. So they are uh, they have the same content, either it's string or it's number. With the triple equal uh, comparison uh, operator in JavaScript, it also compares the content as well as the value. So if this 10 is a string and this 10 is a number, it's true with the double equal, but it's false with the triple equal. So the result would be false. But if this 10 is a number and this 10 is also a number with the triple equal operator comparison, it will return as a true. So we have an additional JS operator, which is a triple equal. And similarly, that will work with the not double equal. It will compare the content and also the type. So type must be equal and the content also must be equal when we are talking about the operators. So let's talk about the JavaScript data types. JavaScript is not very much rich in the types. And as you know that variable declaration is just like with the var and we can assign any type. So mainly JavaScript has numbers, string, object, boolean, and so on. So for the numbers or the decimal, we just uh, assign the any numeric value to the variable, and that would be a number type. And we also, uh, if we want the exponential type, we can specify the e and the its power. We can, we can also have the object type. In the object, a JavaScript object is very much used in uh, many places when uh, people are working with JavaScript. And uh, the way of declaring the JavaScript object is a key value pairs. So every key is uh, just like a variable. And uh, with the colon, we specify the value, either it's a number or string and then boolean and even object itself. So we also have the, uh, let's call in this age, we have uh, the value uh, 50 and each key value pair is separated with a comma. So this is how we can actually uh, declare a JavaScript object. JavaScript type of operator is actually used to identify the type of uh, JavaScript variable or even the object as well. And uh, with the help of type of, we can see that uh, what is the type of, uh, of that specific value or the variable. So let's say, for example, uh, with the quotes, we actually specify that it's a string, and that actually returns as, as, as a string. And if we see that the type of zero, and if we have a whole numbers, or we have decimal point numbers, and in all cases, we have the number type. So we don't have a float, we don't have a double, we don't have unsigned integer, signed, and we don't have a short and byte and so on. These kind of types does not actually exist in the JavaScript. So simplest, JavaScript has a number, JavaScript has a string, JavaScript has the Boolean type as well. Also, JavaScript also contains the undefined and the null types. As we uh, seen earlier that if we declare if a variable and we don't assign any value, it's undefined. But uh, null is actually nothing in uh, JavaScript. And if we compare the uh, content of undefined and null, they are actually equal. So if we use the uh, double equal operator for the comparison of null and undefined, it's actually true. But null is actually object in JavaScript. So which means that if we compare the content with the help of triple equal operator, and if we compare the types, so undefined and null, they are not similar. They have different type, right? So that's the difference between the undefined and the null. Also, if we talk about the primitive data or the data types available, and uh, normally when we talk about the primitive data value, uh, it's actually single, very simple data value with no additional properties and methods. So in JavaScript, we have string, number, boolean, undefined. These are actually primitive types uh, available. So it's simple, very easy, and easy to remember that we have three major types, which are actually string, numbers, and boolean types. And we also have the undefined. Uh, if, we def if we use any variable, it's not defined, it's undefined. We also have the complex types, but there is not much a longer list of complex types. We have function and object, and we can check with the type of operator in the type of complex type. So uh, either type of uh, will return us uh, an object or it will return us uh, the function. But the thing is that the object, the JavaScript object, which is a key value pair, that returns as an object. But arrays in the JavaScript, they are also objects. 
and uh, null as we discussed earlier null is also treated as an object in javascript and uh, if we talk about the function uh, and we get the type of a function and if this function is stored in a variable and we get the type of that variable uh, that would be a function so that's the complex data in the javascript also in javascript uh, we have the var we have let and the const so these are let and the const are actually es6 variables so vanilla javascript actually supports uh, the var and if you talk about the es6 we have the let and the const so if you talk about the scope of those and uh, either we can change the content or not so scope of var is actually function and uh, it's available throughout that uh, block uh, even inside the sub blocks of that function and the let is actually block level so let's for example if you have declared a let variable as a loop variable in a for loop uh, its access or its availability would be inside that for loop only we cannot access that variable outside the for loop and also constant is or the const is also the block level uh, can we change the value after creation for the var yes we can update the variable for the let yes we can do that as i discussed that in the for loop we are using as an uh, indexer for the increment so we are incrementing the let value so definitely uh, it's uh, it's changeable uh, because const is uh, short for the constant and once once we actually declare the constant variable uh, it's not actually changeable so we cannot modify after the creating that constant so normally functions are stored in the const type of uh, variable so that uh, no one can change that so that was a very basic of the javascript in which we see that how many types we have and what kind of primitive types uh, javascript actually supports what kind of operator we have in the javascript and um, so on so let's move on uh, to our next lecture in that we will be talking about the javascript functions to work with the javascript code uh, we have several options for the testing simple javascript one is that you can go to the mycompiler.io and you choose javascript node, node.js and then in node.js we can actually write our javascript code we can run our code from here and you will see the output so you can go to the code switch between the output we can also go to the ide1 and with the ide1 we can also write our code this and we can run and we can do the changes with the help of edit and uh, again we can do some changes and we can run and we see the output over here so you can uh, execute basic javascript uh, in the online editors as well if you want to work on your pc uh, or you want to work offline you can uh, install the node.js and uh, its uh, appropriate version would be installed on your machine and after that you can go and work in uh, vs code and even in the terminal as well so uh, if i write this code and if i run uh, it asks me that uh, uh, where do you want to or which uh, compiler you want to use to run this i will choose node.js and uh, with the help of node uh, it's actually executing this uh, javascript so uh, these are some options uh, with the help of those we can actually uh, do the basic development of the javascript so let's write some javascript so we can uh, declare a variable or define a variable uh, with the var and variable name as well and uh, if we see that uh, this x variable if i want to print this on a console so it is undefined because uh, no value has been initialized to this variable so if i initialize anything any variable to any value to this variable uh, it will print on the console with the help of console.log i can change the content or even the type of this variable so uh, let's say for example before it was string and now it's a number and if i print that javascript has no problem with the changing the type of this variable and even declaring that variable uh, it has no issue with this so you see that uh, i have uh, recreated this variable uh, but this if this variable is uh, a kind of uh, const not here but over here So now we have a problem. We have a trouble over here that uh, this is actually a uh, problem because uh, has already been declared. So with the help of const, we cannot redeclare the variables or recreate the variables, right? So with the strings, if we let us if I write a string and uh, a message, and if I want to embed or concatenate this uh, variable, so traditional way is that value of x, I use plus sign, and then I do this, right? So in this way, I can actually concatenate the strings. But there is also another way in JavaScript. In this, I can actually write the variables and in the expressions inside uh, the string. So I can uh, use the uh, back sign, and I can use like this with the dollar sign and the curly braces. So with this, I can write any JavaScript expression over here. Even I can do the operations. Let's for example, forty-five plus ten.
right so we can uh, ins write inside the string uh, as well uh, let's see the different uh, types so i will console.log the type of x over here so with the help of uh, type of x i can uh, see the type on the console and it's a number and i, I can actually compare the type as well so if uh, type of x i can do that that if type of x is number so i can perform the arithmetic operation otherwise i just output x like this so if it's a number it will uh, perform the operation and uh, write inside that string otherwise it will not do anything it will just output the x otherwise actually it it always output the x so i will i can put this in else block so uh, but if it's not a number then it will actually uh, this uh, block will execute also we have the complex type let's say for example we have uh, uh, let's say for example we have the bio and then i can use the javascript uh, object let's say for example name and also we can uh, uh, this is a simple uh, uh, javascript object and i can actually see the type type of this so i will just comment out this one The type of bio uh, should be the object and to retrieve the content from this uh, object I can use the dot and I can say that I want to retrieve the name or the gender or the age anything and also because it's again the variable itself uh, I can see the type of bio dot age so that type must be the number and uh, similarly if I console out the entire object it will actually return me the object itself you see that the entire object has been returned on the console and i can retrieve uh, everything from the dot operator i can also nest the object so i can actually make it a bit more cleaner let's for example we have the address and again inside the address we have the um, let's say for example uh, so inside that uh, bio object we have the address which is itself the object now if i want to retrieve the content of this address let's say for example if i want to retrieve the city i can do that right so we can nest the object in this way uh, inside uh, this object in the form of key value pairs the javascript object is something that is uh, very much used if you heard about the javascript object notation which is called json uh, that actually uses uh, same style of javascript object notation so uh, these are the uh, few things that we have uh, discussed uh, about the array uh, we can declare the array like this so if i console.log uh, type of a so array is actually the object in uh, javascript and i can declare the array and initialize the array and time like this so let's say for example if i output the content so this is array containing four elements and we have a lot of methods available uh, with the arrays array is just like uh, uh, kind of uh, push and pop operations available so let's say for the, if i want to insert some another number inside this array i can use the push function and with the help of push i can insert the element in the end of this uh, array so and i can also pop the elements so a dot pop So after pop operation we have one two three and four like this right so it actually popped out the last uh, element from the array